I thought. <laughs> yeah. um, time now, though, to explain why we've got all these yes. chickens in the studio. They've tonight. been incredibly patient waiting for this film to come up. But Michael <laughs> Douglas is looking for homes for 9,000 of them. Yeah. So stand by if you would like to give one of them a home. Love an egg. In the UK, we eat an estimated 32 million eggs each day. And for that many eggs, you need chickens. Lots of chickens. All the chickens here at Max Farm in Ditchling are free range. But just like the eggs they lay, the shelf life is not as long as you might think. Because these chickens have done their duty and are now looking to retire. Come in. Oh, thank you very Come much. Susie Mack runs the farm. So, Sue, what do you do here? What we're looking to do at the end of March is try and bring home some of our girls, all 9,000 of them. It's really quite friendly, isn't it? But they're lovely. When you walk, follow you, you know, they all talk to you, they sing to you, I sing to them, and it's just a bit of a chicken love fest, really. Hug a chicken. How difficult are they to pick up? Okay. You do? Hold his wings so it feels like there's nothing better. I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> so I get to hug a chicken every day. So you're trying to rehome 9,000 chickens how many times a year? Right, so we've been rehoming it with the help of some amazing animal rights organisations. We can't do this without their help. This really is a matter of life or death, these chickens. It is the same for millions of laying hens out there. Mm. Commercially, without a home to go to, all laying hens are slaughtered at 78 weeks, when their production drops slightly. Hey up there everyone, I'm not here to eat you, I'm here to save you. In the last seven years, the farmers managed to rehome more than 60,000 of their retired chickens. Nicola owned to th chickens. Well, we want to most though. animals. Love them. They're, good. They're a good talking point. It teaches the children where food comes from mm -hmm. and it gives them a sense of responsibility as well. You saved a chicken's life. But they've given us a lot of back in return. So why are you rehome a chicken? They make a cracking pair, don't you? Although well, you don't want to stay in the kitchen for too long, mate. You get out of here. Oh, thank you very much, Michael. And we're joined now by Susie and her son, Dean. Welcome both. Oh, nice yes, to see you. Thanks for having us. Now, do you know what? I, I quite fancy some chickens after tonight, but Matt went, no, Al. Um, how big a garden do I need and what sort of facilities then? You don't need a massive garden, but you do need enough to have a good garden shed with a good run off it okay. that's safe from the fox and dogs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then we always suggest letting them out in the garden when you're in the garden and with them they do misbehave but they are the best pets you could ever have and they're great for kids to mm. learn about their food mm. education and where eggs come from they yeah. are just wonderful companions we, we have chickens at home and i don't wonderful spot them they become so tame really wonderful pets but these chickens have already been through and you're saying that you get rid of them at 78 weeks how long would you expect them to last you would, on average, probably expect them to last about four years. Some lay, mm -hmm. you know, carry on a lot longer and some don't quite hit the four-year mark. But on average, about four years. So they're ideal yeah. for keeping in people's back oh, gardens. Absolutely. You know, they, yeah. they, they will carry on laying really well. Not so great during the winter, but better yeah. in the summer. Miss, I mean, they've laid, well, as we said, 27 eggs today. So, uh... Do you, do you <laughs> know, I really fancy yeah. some chickens then, Aaron? In all seriousness, I know you're obviously busy, but do you have facilities at home that you... We've talked about it. It's just we're we're not home all that much. And no. I love chickens. Mm. You know? Ooh! <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. I'm not nervous at all. And if anybody does want some chickens, though. Rehoming our girls nationally up and down the country. They're, they're an amazing organisation. Okay. We've got Sue at Brighton Animal Action. Or con contact us at the Max Farm and we'll help you on your way to uh, rehoming one of our lovely girls. So you could certainly come to your place if, if it's commutable to come down, pick the chickens up and go. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's a big organisation yeah. behind this going on. Sure. So course, do contact absolutely. us beforehand and we can make sure you get, you know, you get a chicken for a home. Our little friend here likes you, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> You've got hey. your chicken. I'm there taking this it. guy on with me. It's, um... <laughs> It's incredible because we, we, we've got another animal that needs rehoming uh, tonight. And Erin, I don't yes. know if you can, you can help yes. us with this, but um, 
Yeah, just put your useful look.